Jared here down at Universal Studios, more specifically Universal City Walk, and today I thought I would give you a full tour of Universal City Walk. Now, if you're not familiar with what City Walk is, is it's basically an eating and food di or eating and shopping district right in front of the two parks at Universal Studios. Now, before we get started with our tour, if you're new to our channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you like our videos, please consider subscribing and also leave us a comment down below. We'd like to get to know you better. And here we are heading into Universal City Walk from the main entrance. Now, this is usually the point where I start to get really excited every time that I come here. And we are in now. The very first thing you see over there on your left is the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company restaurant. Uh, I've never eaten there, so I can't say how good it is or isn't. And over here on the right, you can see the Universal Cinemark. Interesting thing about this Cineplex, they do offer a deal where if you do come to City Walk and you have paid for parking during the day, if you go and you see a matinee movie, you can actually get your parking money back. And there's a poster advertising the deal that I just talked to you about. Now while you're standing in front of the Universal City Mark, if you go ahead and you take a right, you can turn and go down these stairs, and they do have two mini golf courses that you can play. It is $16.99 for adult to play one, but if you add another $13.99, you can play the other 18 holes as well. Here's a little bit of a look at that golf course. It's a little bit hard for me to show this side because there's a people mover, but I can go over there on the other side. They're themed differently. One side is aliens and one side is haunted house themed. And here's a look at that golf course. In my opinion, it is a little bit pricey, but I mean, you're paying Universal City Walk prices. Let's move further up and see what else City Walk has to offer. Underneath of the main overhang there, you can see there's a Starbucks coffee, and if you keep going right here, there is a concierge desk where they can help you out with anything you may or may not need. And directly across from that is a Billabong store and a couple other stores, as well as a Cinnabon, which, uh, confession, I have never had a Cinnabon in my life. And we're gonna continue to move forward. Now you see they're advertising Mo Southwest Grill, but that's actually upstairs, and we will head up there in a minute. Let's continue our way down the main drag here, City Walk. As you can see up here on the left, there's a red oven pizza bakery. Now we're almost out of the main drag, and we're gonna have to make a decision whether we wanna go right or left, and we'll talk about that in a, in a moment, but if you look over here on the left, you can see Cowfish Sushi Burger Bar. Now this is my favorite restaurant on City Walk, and I highly recommend it. They have both some pretty interesting burgers as well as some very tasty sushi. And in the main lobby, you can make like a little virtual fish and send it up to their virtual fish tank. It's pretty neat. So now that we are in at the main drag, we're gonna either decide to go right or left, depending on which amusement park you wanna hit up. Now, if you go to the right, you'll come to the Universal entryway, and if you go to the left, you'll come to the Islands of Adventure. We are gonna head to the right and check that out real quick. So right up here, you can see that I've slightly turned to the right, and they have all sorts of little merchandise kiosks up and down the main drag here. Now, during Horror Nights and stuff, sometimes they're selling Horror Night merchandise or Mardi Gras merchandise, but we're gonna start walking towards the Universal Gates, which you can see far off in the distance there. And yes, holidays are going on currently in the park as of this filming. Coincidentally, you can see that one of these kiosks is selling seasonal merchandise. And across from those kiosks, you can see we have a few more shops, such as this clothes shop, which actually I don't know the name of it. <laughs> Fresh produce, I guess is what it's called. And then there's a peak shop, which looks like an interesting little store. You, know, you can kind of see what they've got in there. Some Funko Pops, some plushies, candy. It's just an interesting little gift shop. And a couple more clothing stores. That's the cool thing about City Walk. It's not just universal merchandise. A little bit further up, we come to Voodoo Donut. Now this is just an awesome donut shop. That has some very interesting, unique donuts. I'll head in there for a second, kind of give you an idea of what the donuts look like. Now I have had a lot of these donuts. They're a bit sugary, but extremely tasty. I usually always get one, at least once a trip. As you can see right here coming up, is the seasonal holiday donut. They do offer special donuts only during the events at Universal Studios, such as that one, the holiday donut. The rest of these you can get year round. Voodoo Donuts is usually one of our mainstay stops every time we come to Universal Studios. We really love this place. We really love the gift shop and the donuts. Just one last quick look at the Voodoo Donut Shop before we move on. So here as we face Voodoo Donuts, if we just turn, we come to the NBC Grill and Bruce 
sports restaurant. I've never eaten here, so I can't uh, say whether or not it's good or not, but it does smell really good every time I walk past it. And the menu does look very interesting. So now we've come to the bridge that takes you over to the Universal Studios entrance way uh, on this leg of Universal City Walk. Now I'm not gonna head all over there yet. I will get a little bit closer to Universal Studios later, but we're actually gonna turn around and look at more of City Walk at this point. And right there you can see the infamous spinning universal globe and everybody up there getting selfies and pictures with it. It's uh, very common this early in the morning, actually all day long. Real quick before we move on towards Island of Adventure and upstairs at City Walk, I do want to show you one thing here. Looking at the gate from Universal Studios Orlando, if you just turn right here, you can see all of these water taxis. Now, that is probably how you're going to come into City Walk if you are staying on one of the properties, you can usually water taxi over. Not all of them, but quite a few of them, or you can at least walk to one of the ones, typically, that does offer a water taxi. I will say this, I have stayed on property and I have taken the water taxis and it is extremely convenient. It is definitely how I would prefer to visit Universal Studios. All right, now it's time to head over to the Island of Adventure leg of Universal City Walk. You can see we've made our way back to the Cowfish. We are gonna head this direction now. And you can see Vivo's Italian Kitchen. Let's walk towards Island of Adventure. You can see a little bit more of the upper level, which we're gonna explore later. Right next to that is the Universal Studio Store, which I will go in, but I'm gonna actually put it at the end of the video. Not right now, we're gonna continue our tour. And right there, big fire. American restaurant. Big Fire American Fair is a steakhouse that cooks over this huge fire that they have in there. It's uh, supposed to make you feel like you're at some sort of a lake house or out camping or something is what I've gathered from the restaurant. Let's move past Universal Studios store and head back here where you can see we're gonna come up on the CityWalk Hot Dog Hall of Fame which is a very good restaurant that has features hot dogs, different hot dog styles from all over the country. I think I've had just about all of them and they're all really good. There's a look at the City Walk Hot Dog Hall of Fame. You can see down there they also have some sort of stadium style seating where you could sit and eat your hot dog or wait to get your order while you're watching the big screen TV that usually has some sort of sports event playing on it. I always prefer to sit and eat in this little gazebo style place. And directly across from that we come to Antonitas? Antitas? I don't know how to pronounce that. Authentic Mexican food. Now at night, this place is usually pretty lively and loud. Oh, it's got a little bit of an outdoor seating area. And another one of those food, or I'm sorry, drink stands that they have throughout City Walk. Now if you were to continue just up here, you would just come around and in front of Margaritaville and Big Fire. Now a lot of these restaurants aren't open right now, that's not why I'm going in and showing you around, but trust me, if you come to City Walk, you're gonna find a place to eat that you like. All right, real quick, we are now back in the Voodoo Donuts, and what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna go up these stairs and show you what's on the upper level of City Walk. Now this particular section, they do have a tattoo shop, as well as a couple restaurants up here. Uh, Burger King, which is just generic, Panda Express, Mo Southwest Grill, but over here, they have a bread box restaurant that I highly recommend. I really like the sandwiches from there, I have had them. So now if we look at bread box and we go to the right here, you can see there is another sushi bar up here on the upper level. Also see that they've got a lot of heaters out for the winter months coming up. And while it is obviously very hot in Florida, it does seem to get a little bit chilly at night sometimes. I need to, we're gonna head in this direction. What you're looking at here is that main overhang that you see when you first come in. We're gonna cross over here. There's some more good restaurants down this way. Now you can get up here through escalators. You don't have to take those stairs that I took earlier. And the other thing is, is this does ramp all the way back down to the main level. And the first thing heading this way up here on our left is the Red Coconut Club. I've never been in there, but I do know that I've seen them throw certain special events during pass holder days. And directly across from that, you can see some of the upper level seating for cowfish. Continuing on, you can see there's a few drink stands. And coming up here is the Bob Marley restaurant. And here you go, the entrance to Bob Marley, a tribute to freedom. Right next to that is Pat O'Brien's. Now, this is another one of my favorite restaurants. It is a Cajun style restaurant. It's very tasty. I've eaten there a few times. I really like the food. And on one side of it, they have some dueling pianos that you can actually go up and 
you know, make a song request or they just play various hits throughout the years, it's pretty good. Directly across from there, there's some more stairs to get down to the lower level. And there's also this, Rising Karaoke Star. I don't know what it is, but I mean, it seems fairly self-explanatory. This is one thing that I don't know about City Walk. Just continuing to make our way down to the main level, you can see another drink stand, Fat Tuesdays, and then the Groove Dance Club. And here we are, we've made our way back to Hot Dog Hall of Fame. Now if we take big fire, as you can see, I'm gonna pan over to here. Now you can see the entrance to Islands of Adventure. Now there's a couple more things before we get there. Let's go check those out quickly. Right here we've got Margaritaville. Now just down from Margaritaville is the Compass Rose Company Live Music and Dancing, which you can see is not open or even ready to do anything yet this early. And across from that is probably your last chance or food or drink before you hit up Islands of Adventure, the Lone Palm Airport. It's primarily a drink stand, but they do have some sort of appetizers such as like, uh, I don't know, fried pickles, pretzels, shrimp nachos, that sort of thing. All right, let's head over and take a look at the Islands of Adventure entrance and then the restaurants that are across the lagoon. And we're gonna finish up at the entrance of Universal Studios. It's a really good look at the lighthouse of Islands of Adventure now. We rarely use this entrance to get into the parks. Usually if we're going to Island of Adventures, we'll go into the Universal Studios and then take the Hogwarts Express over. But every once in a while, we do come in this entrance. You can see people getting ready to head into the park. Some people are buying tickets. There's also a will call kiosk right over here. Now that's a, we never use the will call kiosks here. They're super easy and convenient to use if you're getting online tickets. I'm not going to show any of the park. I do have a full Islands of Adventure park tour up on my channel and I will put it in the description below and link it right up here in the right hand corner. Now from over here in front of Islands of Adventure we're going to sort of rotate here to the right. And there's a couple more restaurants down here starting with Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium and I'm really hoping that I can at least get into the lobby of this one today because it's a really neat place. Before we get a look at Toothsome's though you can see now we are across from that little lagoon go see what we can see here. Look at the front of Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium. This is a steampunk themed restaurant and I think you can tell by the name of it what the food theme is as well. Oh we're in luck. It looks like we are going to be able to get in and take a look at the gift shop area at the very least. I don't think the restaurant's open yet because I haven't seen any other restaurant open. Take a closer look at some of this stuff in a minute. Real quick though I do want to point out if you come in here and you come to the left you can get some milkshakes and sundaes and brownies and not have to actually eat inside the restaurant. And those milkshakes are very worth getting. I don't really like ice cream, but even I like the Toothsome's milkshakes. Over on this side of the entryway to Toothsome's is actually the chocolate shop. I'll show you some of these truffles you can get. It's a little bit pricey for them, but man, they look cool, don't they? Right there is the price to buy some truffles. There's a little bit, another look at some of the other stuff you can get in here. I know I spent a little bit more time than I should have, but I think that this is a particularly cool gift shop. And right next to Toothsome's, you can see we have the Hard Rock Cafe. Now I've never eaten at this particular Hard Rock Cafe. I have eaten at other Hard Rock Cafes. They're not exactly my favorite chain. But I wouldn't judge that. I wouldn't judge this one based on that because I have not eaten at this one. And now we've made it back to Universal Studios main entryway. I'd like to thank you for joining me today on our tour of City Walk. And let me comment down below. Have you ever been to City Walk? What's your favorite thing to do there or favorite place to eat? Thanks for watching. All right, back at Universal Studios store. I'm going to come in here for a brief look to show you what this looks like. They are decorated up for the holiday celebration they've got going on here, but this is pretty much a collection of all the stuff that they have at Universal Studios, all the properties, and you can buy merchandise for it. Typically, if there's an event going on in the park, they usually have merchandise for it right here at the beginning of the store, as you can see right there. Now most of this merchandise you'll find at various gift shops within the two parks as well. But if you're not going into the parks, this is where you're going to have to get it. But every now and then I do find something in here that I haven't seen elsewhere. 